Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Kirby. Today we're going to be cooking up something simple. We're going to be using our Instant Pot and we're going to be making some barbecue pulled pork. Now there's no other way to make this as easy as possible. The Instant Pot is a really good device and it allows you to cook while you need to do other things. So while I'm out cleaning or doing something in the backyard, I got my Instant Pot cooking up some pulled pork. So no further ado, let's get down to the recipe so I can show you how to make it. We're going to start out by taking some Dr. Pepper. We're going to be using about two cups of Dr. Pepper. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to make a little concoction and we're going to inject that into our pork. So go ahead and fill up your container that you're going to be holding in your soda. Then you're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue rub. Now, it's going to be a little bubbly, so keep that in mind. So you want to do one tablespoon at a time. And then once you get everything in there, you want to go ahead and add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. That's one tablespoon. So go ahead and add one tablespoon and mix everything together. Now you just want to do your thing and inject that pork with that Dr. Pepper mixture. Just try to make sure you get all over the place. Uh, I probably stabbed it maybe about 25 to 30 times, you know, front and back. So, you know, once you get everything, you know, pretty much injected and you start seeing it to like squirt out in some spots, you're pretty much good uh, as you'll see like as you inject you know it'll squirt out in other areas so uh, just you know do your best on trying to inject it good and uh, once you get the two cups of Dr. Pepper in there you want to go ahead and just give it a rub of your your favorite barbecue rub now this is a homemade blend uh, I actually have a video on how to make your own barbecue rub if you'd like to check that out I'll leave it in the video description uh, but yeah this rub right here is a very fantastic rub and uh, you know just use what you have and uh, just give it a good coating all over that pork on all four sides and then uh, you know even the sides of the pork just give it a good rub once you have your pork butt all seasoned up go ahead and put it in the fridge for about three to four hours you want to go ahead and let that marinate and then we're going to go ahead and put it in our instant pot with about one cup of water chicken broth beef broth whatever you want to add in there and seal up the instant pot and you want to go ahead and set it to pressure cook for two hours. And once the time is done, go ahead and turn everything off. You want to go ahead and let that naturally release for about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, when you let it open, you really don't want any pressure. You, don't, you just want to let it do its thing. So 20 to 30 minutes is a really good time. And when you open up the release, you shouldn't see a bunch of, you know, steam coming out of the Instant Pot. Once all the pressure's out of your Instant Pot, go ahead and open it up and pull out your pork. Be very, very careful because that pork is really, really tender. It's going to fall apart on you. So just try to, you know, get as much of it as you can. And then just go to town on shredding it. Uh, really easy, you know, it's really, really tender. So you'll be able to just, you know, shred it up like nothing. And then you want to go ahead and add some of those juices from the Instant Pot right back into the meat just a little bit you know that way you could give it some of that flavor that we seasoned it with and then you want to go ahead and add your favorite barbecue sauce now the barbecue sauce can be you know left out if that's what you're looking for but uh what i was going for was like barbecue sandwiches you know for the family for that dinner so uh yeah we were we were wanting the barbecue in there but you know you could do whatever you want with this you know this is a really good base to make you know whatever type of meal you're looking for for some pulled pork like this. So what do you think about that recipe? It's very, very easy and very delicious, but you know what? The Instant Pot does a very, very good job on making it so simple. You can be out doing something and you don't have to worry about it because it's cooking for you. So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you can see future videos just like this and many more. And if you want the full recipe, I'll leave the link down in the video description. That way you can go to cookingwithkirby.com and that way you can get the full printable recipe. Oh yeah, while you're at it, I got these other videos. They're very delicious and you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.